Hi loves, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I wanted to try experimenting with a book nook. I saw it online recently, a few a while ago, and I wanted to try to build it myself. I don't have any credentials, never done this in my life before. It's gonna take me a very long time. If I can build IKEA furniture over there, I think I should have some luck trying to build this, but I will put timestamps below if you want to see me build it or if you want to see the photos after, I will put those in. I will see you loves later. So this is what I'm working with. I actually got this toolkit, this modeling hobby toolkit because I didn't know what kind of kit I would be working with and I also bought some glue just in case the glue that came with it doesn't work as well as I thought and I need precision. I think these give you tips for doing everything precise so might need that might not and then I got this cutting mat it's actually a lot smaller but I didn't do the measurements so it's kind of my bad but let's get started so in this book nook kit I'll go through every little piece and I hope I can keep it together but this is actually the the protector cover in here we have all the books for the stickers I'm gonna try to keep these together. And then we have, oh, that's one set. This comes with all the wooden pieces that you have to put together, including the book. It comes with the little lights. It comes with the little toolkit, but I don't know how much I'll be using this for this one. It also comes with a little globe. That's a part of the kit too. And here is the instruction book manual. This is the Beyond the Library and this is, I think, by Mini City. It shows you the little instructions. So it says maintenance, accessories, wood block list, and it has it both in, I think, Chinese and also English. It has step-by-step step, and it also has them in color in case you don't really understand how to do it. I hope I don't have trouble with this, but I mean, if it's anything like Ikea furniture, this should be a breeze for me. It doesn't really say much of the steps, but it shows you diagrams. They have little tips on the side. I don't know if you love skin see, but they have some tips. And it just walks you through the whole process. Hopefully I'll get it correct. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we'll see together. So I'm going to do a time lapse on this because you guys are not going to want to sit here for eight hours watching me build books and mess up. So I will now move on to the toolkit that I bought. In here I have my little toolkit that I bought online. I might leave the link below. Here's a little ruler. I actually have this little tape measure. I don't think I'm going to use it, but I have it just in case. I have my little dusting cloth and I have my little exacto knife. It also comes with a, um, I think, comes with a little drill. I got my files, so I have this one as well. I have two, two of these files. I have my wire. I think these are wire cutters or pliers, I think. I have my little tweezers. They're a little bit curved at the end, so you can be pretty precise with that. I have a little wood file. I'm pretty sure it's a wood file. And I have my really long tweezers. These are really gonna help because compared to these ones, this, if you've ever worked with tweezers before, these ones are the ones that will make an indent on your hand and it's really hard to move. And if you do it for a long time, it's a pain. So I'm glad I have these so that I can go in from higher angles. And then I have my Phillips head and I have my flathead. I have both screwdriver and the other one. So that's what I have in here. I don't know how much I'm gonna use these tools I have a feeling I'm gonna use most of my tools that I actually bought. So 
So in here, this is what you get. You get your glue. I have a feeling that this is not going to be enough or this one is going to be really hard because I've heard that if you use some of the glue and you leave it overnight, it hardens. And so I don't want that to happen. And then they give you this little piece. I'm like, I'm really happy that I bought this. Like, if you see the size difference, I would be spending hours upon hours probably filing stuff. And then in here, these are the little sticky, I think these are like stickers, not sure. And then in here is actually the, this is actually like, um. oh, what's it called? It's called, I think it's glass. This is, <laughs> this is the glass globe that comes with it. I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out because I thought this was gonna be plastic, honestly. But let me start getting building because it's gonna take me forever and it's gonna be a process. If I mess up, not my fault. I didn't read the instructions, but let's get started. So far, this is a setup that works for me. I have everything I need, my cutting mat, my instruction manual. I set up my tools, got my glue going. This is a little trash bucket, or I'll have a few trash buckets. And then over here, I have my laptop. I'm charging my earbuds so I can listen to music while I work. And then over here, these are all my sorting boxes. I don't know how much I'll actually need to sort, so.